Subscribe and click on the bell icon to get notifications of latest videos uploaded. Hello, welcome to Rich's Boutique. This video I will show you how to do a simple easy saree work using beads and mirror. You yourself can do the entire saree work within few days. I will tell you how to do this. For doing this you will require a frame. The frame should be always rolled up with cello tape. Then you will require a medium sized mirror. Then the glue for sticking the mirrors, needle, beads, and the thread. I have chosen angle thread. Color of the thread can be chosen according to your fabric color. First, you have to draw the design. The cross mark areas are where you want to stick the mirror. Now let's start to stick the mirror. Choose the mirrors which are perfectly round. Make sure that all the edges of the mirror are firmly sticked. If the edges are not sticked then there may be chance that the mirror may come out. Now let's start to stitch. I have used only 3 strands of thread for doing this step. Put the knot at the end of the thread. You have to do the chain stitch along with the bead. So I crossed a bead and started to do the chain stitch. Pull up the needle, rotate the thread around the needle one time and then pull it up. For the second change you have to insert the needle through the first turn and pull up a bit upper to that. For the third chain, I again stitched with the bead. Insert the needle through the previous chain to do the next chain. Again pull it up. Pull down through the previous needle. Then rotate the thread and pull it up. Continue the same stitch all over.
at the end of the stem also you have to close the bead at the end of the main stems i have closed three beads and for the small stems i have chosen only one Now the entire stem part work has been finished. Now let's start to do the mirror work. For doing the mirror work, I have chosen six strands of thread. First, we have to make the basic frame for the mirror. This is how you can make the basic frame. First, you have to stitch the square and then the diagonal part. Now you have to do the button hole stitch. For doing that you have to take up the whole thread and then just pull it up and make that loop. Continue making this loop all around the mirror. While pulling the thread, you have to make sure that the shape of the mirror is well maintained. That is, you have to get the round shape inside. 
don't pull so forcefully if you pull it so forcefully then the shape will get lost and uh, it will become really boring one at last you have to pull down the thread at the first loop See, I have pulled down the at the first loop. Now you have to mark the four different opposite sides. You have to do the lazy stitch over the sides. While doing the lacy daisy, you have to make sure that you are taking the needle inside the loop of the framework of the mirror. If you are not taking the framework, then the framework may lose its shape. Okay. Complete the lacy daisy stitch all around the framework. You have to make sure that. The lacy daisy stitches are equal distance from each other. If you like my work then please give a thumbs up do share your comments and opinions in the comment box below also don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon so that you will receive all the notifications when i upload a new video so if you want any video anything if you want to share with me you can always contact me at richusboutique@gmail.com or you can share your comments in the community tab Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more.